Welcome to the ABC of the Animal Kingdom. Today we will talk about the cicada. Cicadas are insects that belong to the cicadidae family of the order Hemiptera. Both those insects that have wings divided into a hard first half and a membranous second half, and those that have entirely membranous wings, belong to this order. Among the best known Hemiptera are aphids, cicadas, and bedbugs. Entomologists still work and argue about their classification into subfamilies and tribes. Currently it is known of the existence of about 3,000 species of cicadas that inhabit almost the entire globe, with the exception of Antarctica. They are classified into periodical and annual cicadas. Periodical are those cicada species with periodical life cycles that emerge together after long periods of time. Annual, cicada species with annual life cycles emerge every year. Its main characteristic is the strong and strident sound that they emit thanks to their timbals, on which we will delve into later. They have two large eyes, which are compound, since they have thousands of small lenses. Unlike the three eyes they have in the center of their head, known as ocelli, which do not allow them to perceive details, but are useful for perceiving changes in brightness. It also has a pair of antennas, which may be small, but are powerful sensory organs. Its coloration goes between dark brown, green, black and gray, varying between the different species. They are physically characterized by their robust bodies and broad heads. They have an exoskeleton, which fulfills the function of protection, as well as the skeleton in our case, only it is more fragile. They are between 0.6 and 2.5 inches long. They have two pairs of membranous and transparent wings. The smallest ones hide under the largest ones when they are in a state of rest. Cicadas do not bite or sting, nor do they pose any risk. They have a suction mouthpiece that allows them to feed on sap from trees and other plants. The larvae or nymphs feed on the nectar they extract from plant roots. Unlike grasshoppers, they do not become destructive pests. However, swarms of these insects can make younger trees sick when they invade them to feed and lay eggs, while older trees resist these invasions without problems. Females lay between 400 and 600 eggs which the female deposits in a groove she makes in a tree limb and then die. In the following days, these eggs hatch, nymphs fall to the ground and bury themselves about 12 inches deep. They will live there from 2 to 17 years, depending on the species. After that period, they dig tunnels, emerge from the ground, and they climb the nearest tree. It is rigged at this point, when they begin to shed their nymph exoskeleton, undergoing metamorphosis. This is how they transform into adults with developed wings and genitalia ready for mating. Once metamorphosis is over, they do not survive much longer, having a life expectancy as adults between 4 and 6 weeks. Mating generally takes place during the warm months, although the season varies by species and region. It is during these periods that their deafening songs are noticed. Would you like to learn more about metamorphosis? In this first illustration, we can observe how the future adult cicada is molting. In the next one, it has already managed to get out. Its exoskeleton, as well as its wings, will harden in the heat of the sun. Finally, we can see the typical empty shell that we usually find attached to the bark of trees. They are so elusive that it is commonly the only thing we can see of these intriguing insects. 
Before listening to its sound, we would like to share with you a couple of fun facts. 1. The loudest cicadas in the U.S. can reach up to 108.9 decibels, being this chorus louder than the sound of an airplane. However, in other parts of the world, there are even louder species, capable of reaching up to 120 decibels. 2. Did you know that they are considered symbols of immortality? For Asian culture, it is the most powerful and significant emblem of immortality and resurrection due to its ability to rise from the earth after long periods. It is for this reason that we can find many types of amulets, and even origami with their shape. As we mentioned before, males are able to sing thanks to its stridulatory apparatus located on the sides of the first abdominal segment, which consists of membranes in air sacs, called timbals, which functions as a resonance box. Although this sound seems to always be the same, it has different tones according to the species and the objectives, either to alert or to attract females. Although they make this sounds at any time of the day, it is more frequent and intense at dusk and dawn. It is believed that most of the males die due to the great stress suffered by the pressure difference produced by their stridulatory apparatus, while the rest are preyed upon by birds, ants, spiders, reptiles and some small mammals. Would you like to hear them? We suggest you listen to it with headphones for a more pleasant experience. We will post new videos about wild animals and insects every Thursday. If you love cats and dogs as much as we do, stay tuned to the channel on Sundays. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you don't miss any of our incredible videos. If you have learned a lot from this video, please give us a like and share.